Hey guys, how are you? Um, a pretty common question I get just about every week now is, David, how do you put your PowerBook G4 into desktop mode like I've seen on your videos? For those of you not familiar with this, desktop mode, <clears throat> excuse me, desktop mode allows you to um, close your notebook and then use your external monitor as, a dis as your main display instead of your notebook's display. This is good for two main reasons. Um, one is more resolution. Obviously, the more real estate you have, the better. Because I'm a graphic design major, I'm a video editor, and I'm a digital photographer slash photo editor. So I can never have too much workspace. Obviously, the more pixels, the better, and the more productive I am. And the second reason is uh, my Dell display is just a lot brighter. It puts my PowerBook's display to shame. I mean, the PowerBook is a nice display, but the um, brightness is nothing today. I mean, this, this computer is more than three years old now, so. But anyway. Uh, this video is to show you a quick walkthrough of how to do this, and without further ado, let's do it. Firstly, let me say this is how I do it. Um, I don't know if you can do it while your Mac is on already, but um, the way I do it is I shut down first, and then I go into desktop mode. And also, let me say, this is a PowerPC Mac, obviously. This this is a 17-inch um, G4. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same way for Intel Mac users, but I don't see why not, since it's so simple as it is, I don't see why Apple would ever change it, so that's just a minor disclaimer, but it should work the same way for you. And this is for Mac users only, um, I'm pretty sure PC users can do desktop mode somehow, but I'm not sure since I'm a dedicated Windows, uh, Windows user, yeah right, sorry, <laughs> Mac user. Alright, so firstly, um, like I said, uh, the way I do it is my Mac is on first, so let me go over here. Let me go around onto my bed for a second. Um, I shut down first, so let me shut down my Mac. This is very convenient because I can also use my Mac right here and over there, so I love it. So, good shut down. Give that a few seconds to shut down. We'll go back around the camera. Oh, by the way, this is already in mirror mode, which is why you see it on over here. What, what's on here is also over here. But um, you can also use both displays as their own monitors. If, if you're going to system preferences, then display. And then a, arrangement, I think, or appearance. I think it's arrangement. Okay. Anyway. Okay. My uh, Mac is off. So this is the way I do it. I press the power button, wait a couple seconds, close the lid immediately, and then the display should automatically go over to here, and then I can work on here as my main display. You know, which is why you see my keyboard and mouse over here, and my speakers and everything. Okay, so let me open this. Now, close it up. I mean, press the power button. Sorry. Press the power button. Wait a couple seconds. Close it. And of course, you hear the familiar bong sound. I don't know. I just call it bong or startup chime, whatever you prefer. Now, let me sit down. Give it a few seconds. And you should see the usual white screen with the Apple logo. You see my iPod 1 on over there. And there you go. There's the Apple logo. And now the, the um, little working icon should show up over here. And as, as you see my, oh, and there it is. And as, as you see my PowerBooks display is still shut. And I will skip ahead in the video when it gets to the login screen. So hang tight. And there you have it, the login screen. Let me pull my keyboard over here just in case, you know. You can never be too careful. My password in, press return, log in. Give it a few seconds to show my icons on my dock and everything. This is my um, dock, which I will make a video of, by the way. Um, I've also got a few requests to show what's on my dock, like you know the Blue Hour did and many other Mac users. I believe Emeek77 even did it, so. Um, yeah. Alright, you can see everything's intact. And if I open my lid over here, you can see that the display does not come on. But if I did want it to come on, you go to your display um, icon in the menu bar, or, or system preferences, then displays, but I just have mine in the menu bar. And then you click detect displays, but that's a whole other video, but yeah, there you go. That is desktop mode, and I hope it helped a lot of people out. And if you have any questions, feel free to post a comment or leave a message, and yeah. Have a good week, and also don't forget, I will be streaming live on Ustream from March 15th through the 23rd, I believe. 
and waving the iCal widget to come up. But yeah, I have, yeah, March 15th to the 23rd. Yep, that's right. So I hope to see you guys there at ustream.tv slash the um, creative one. Sorry, I forgot my name for a second. And then you can also check out my blog, please, at www, oh wait, not, I'm sorry, the creative one blog dot blogspot dot com. No www, just straight up the creative one blog dot blogspot dot com. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and have a good week.